This is Terrence Andre Banks with Information Age Financial Solutions coming to you again about the housing market and things are continuing to heat up. Found this interesting article, Crash Alert, 23 California cities where home prices are dropping in 2019. Definitely worth your attention. I'm going to put a link inside the description and we'll dive right in. Highlights from this report, home prices continue to fall in dozens of California cities. Prices dropping mostly in the South Bay and Silicon Valley regions. We expect these drops to continue through 2019 into 2020. While home prices nationwide continue to climb, there are plenty of U.S. cities where values are actually dropping right now. In some cities, they are falling fast. Today, we'll be talking, taking a look at some of the, of the California cities where home prices are dropping in 2019 and continue to drop in 2020. California cities where home prices are dropping. Let's scroll down a little bit here. Want to know which California cities are experiencing home price declines in 2019? Here's the easiest F method. Look at the map of the Golden State. Draw a big imaginary circle just to the south of San Francisco. Make sure it includes most of the South Bay and East Bay regions, along with all of Santa Clara County. That's where prices are dropping. When you see signs of dropping, then that's usually mean we're reaching the peak of a cycle and a correction is going to happen. Maybe not as extensive as it was before, but you just never know because we're in the everything bubble right now. So as of fall 2019, home values were falling in places like Cupertino, Cupertino, I'm sorry, Mountain View, Palo Alto, San Jose, and Sunnyvale. All these real estate markets have something in common. They've all ex experienced rapid and unsustainable home growth price gains, home price gains over the past few years. In most of these markets, severe inventory shortages created a kind of frenzy among buyers that causes them to make offers above the asking price. This in turn has caused home values to skyrocket. But those days seem to be in the past. For the most part, now the trend has reversed. Instead of skyrocketing, home prices are now plummeting in some of these California cities. The biggest price drops seem to be occurring in the South Bay Santa Clara Valley region of the state. In some of those cities like Cupertino and Milipitas, median home values have dropped more, more than 10% over the past year. This is, and that comes from Zillow, according to them. In September 2018, Kathleen Pender from the San Francisco Chronicle wrote four Bay Area counties post a year-over-year -year price drops in August, the largest being Santa Clara's 8% decline. 23 housing markets prices have fallen, some which California cities are spring and dropping home price. We mentioned a few of them above, but that's just the tip of the iceberg. The list below is dated, based on data provided by Zillow in late September 2019. This percentage beside each city shows how the median home value changed over the previous 12 months. That's according to the company's proprietary home value index. Bolding indicates cities where home prices have dropped by double digits in the past year. Let's go through the list. Berkeley, negative 3%. Concord, minus 1.9%. Cupertino, 11.5% drop. Fremont, 3.4% drop. Gilroy, 7.9%. Hayward, 2.4%. Heldsburg, 6.6%. Irvine, 1.9%. Los Altos, 11.6%. Martinez, 1.7%. Mendocino, 8.4%. Lomapitas, 10.7%. Mountain View, 8.9%. Palo Alto, 12.3%. Pleasanton, 4.9%. 16. Redwood City, 5.3%. San Jose, 9.3%. Santa Barbara, 3.1%. Santa Clara, 13.2%. Santa Rosa, 1.4%. Saratoga, 11.9%. Sunnyvale, 14.5%. And Walnut Creek, 1%. Now, statewide values are still climbing. To be clear, they are not, these are not the only California cities where home prices are dropping in fall 2019. There are others as well, but it does give you a sense of what is happening across the state. It's also important to point out that prices are still climbing in most cities across the state. The housing marks above are an exception to the overall trend. Santa Clara Valley is currently taking the biggest hit in terms of home value declines. In many cities in that region, prices have dropped by double digits over the past year. We expect the downward trend to continue through 2019 and 2020 though will likely become less severe over the coming months. San Francisco appears to be insulated from these price drops to some degree. Due to the city's unique geographic geography, construction opportunities are limited. Housing demand, meanwhile, remains strong, so it's possible that San Francisco could weather the storm and hold its values better than the surrounding cities. We'll see. The statewide median home price in California continues to climb. That's because most cities across the state are still seeing a rise in home values. The crash areas listed above are mostly limited in the South Bay region, with a few scattered cases in wine country, the East Bay, and elsewhere. Looking forward to the north, we can find some examples of California housing markets that are still appreciating a steady pace. Cities like Chico, Eureka, and Redding are experiencing significant home prices gains right now. 
In Chico, a northern California vicinity of around 93,000 residents, home prices have risen sharply over the past year. This month, the team at Zillow wrote, Chico home values have gone up 13.2% over the past year, and Zillow predicts that they will rise 7.3% within the next year. This particular forecast was made in September 2019, so it extends into the fall of 2020. For comparison, prices nationwide rose by around 5% over the past year, so clearly the Chico real estate market is outperforming most of the cities in the country. In terms of price growth. Eureka, California also experienced a big increase in home values over the past year. The median price in North County rose by around 8% in the last 12 months. This article includes third party data is deemed reliable but not guaranteed. Okay. I encourage you to take a look at the article. If you're in these those different cities that I mentioned in the 23, the housing market prices have fallen in some of these places with Cupertino, Los Altos, Milapitas, Palo Alto, Santa Clara, Saratoga, Sunnyvale, it's double digit drops. You really need to be mindful if you get ready um, to purchase or if you're flipping homes in these areas. It's just something to be definitely be concerned about. But usually when you see prices drop and that's this percentage because of this housing bubble is increased again and we're right in the echo bubble again. Um, Santa Clara, I mean, Santa Clara, uh, California, the state of California was one of the was an epicenter for a lot of different the housing crash of 2007, 2008, just keep that in mind as well. Florida and these other places, Las Vegas is just another other place that's going. But I've done a number of videos on housing. And it's just since housing takes up a, the biggest portion and that films for the American dream that everybody wants to own a home, this is something to be concerned about. It's something to definitely keep your mind on. I'll put the link inside the description, kind of scrolling down here to see if anything else I missed. As always, if this video has been any value to you, please subscribe, leave some comments. And until my next video, I'm out.